Yeah, I mean, we're, today would not be a good day to kind of say who's the one, who's the two. There's always a pecking order in a sense that, you know, guys are going to have to fit somewhere. But remember now, for the last two and a half months, there hasn't been ones, there hasn't been twos. I don't put up a depth chart per se. I don't push that with our coaches. We don't like to talk in those terms, but somebody's got to go out there. Um, what we like to talk to our team about is there's competitive opportunities out here. Somebody's got to go out there with 11 guys. And Kevin was out there today, and you can see he's a guy that can make plays. Um, but there are other guys. McKinley made some plays. Ben Skoranek made some plays. Uh, Lindsey was making catches all over the place and proving, obviously, the things that he worked on last year was, um, you know, those congested catches and, and tough ball catches, the balls behind him, he made those today. So there's, this, there's great competition with a lot of really good receivers. Lawrence Keyes looked good out there today. Um, I could probably go on and on. So it's really not about who's won today as much as about creating competition with a number of really talented receivers. I'm clarify, because I wasn't trying to get a depth chart question, but more well, what, what, Thank you. What, I appreciate that. <laughs> what, I'll answer the question what, again. What are, what are your hopes for Austin <laughs> moving forward, given where he's come from and, and what you guys think he could be for you guys? Well, he's always had the talent. Um, you know, he's, he's obviously doing the things right, um, you know, both on and off the field. Um, you know, his, you know, his development has been um, one that we're really pleased with, and that's why you're seeing a lot more of him, you know, on a day like today.